Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to migrate application from Bitbucket into Azure Cloud. So what we are going to use is we are going to create a pipeline in Azure DevOps. So we all know, right? Azure DevOps is providing the capability called Azure Pipeline for migrating applications from anywhere, right? So in this particular use case, we are going to take this particular uh, application which is hosted in Bitbucket. Okay, this is kind of a Java based application. Okay, so we are going to migrate this uh, application from Bitbucket into Azure Cloud. Okay, so where are we going to deploy the Java application in Azure Cloud? Right, so we are going to create something called Web App. So, Web App is nothing but it's kind of a platform as a service capability which is provided by Azure. Um, all you have to do is create this Web App and then configure Java and Tomcat, and that's it, right. Everything is configured for you. All you have to do is, you know, connect, um, go to pipeline and then you just have to connect to it, right? And then you should be able to deploy from Azure Pipeline into Azure Cloud, okay? Awesome. So let's get started. So guys, this is my website, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well, okay? Great. So how are we gonna get started, right? So we need to first create a web app in Azure Cloud or Azure Portal. So we will be doing that shortly. And then once we create that web app, we would be creating Azure Pipeline in Azure DevOps, okay? And then we are going to configure our pipeline in order to migrate from Bitbucket into Azure Cloud, right? So we are going to deploy in web app, okay? So that's what we are gonna do, okay? All right, so what is the first step? We need to start creating the web app in Azure Portal, okay? So let's get started. So I'm logging into Azure Cloud. So how do you create a web app? All you have to do is go to App Service and then create an App Service. Okay, so you have to provide the information. So this is where we are going to create a web app. So I am under pay as you go subscription. So I'm going to leave it like that. And we need to create a resource group. Let me see if I have an existing resource group. Uh, that's fine. So let me use that resource group or you can also create a new resource group. It doesn't matter. And uh, we need to give a web app name. So I'm going to give my um, So I'm giving this name my web app for Java. Okay, and this is a Java based application. So I'm going to leave it like that. And what is the runtime stack? We are going to choose either Java 11 or Java 8. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. So that's fine. And I want to keep Linux as my operating system. Okay. And what is the region? Since I am in South, I'm going to choose South Central US. Okay. And what is the Linux plan? So we need to choose the app service plan. Okay, so let me create some plans. So I'm going to say my plan. Okay, so give a name. And I'm going to choose the size for my web app. If you're under free trial, you would be able to choose this one, but I don't have a free trial. So I'm going to go ahead with this option. Okay, and you're not deploying into production. You don't have to choose production one. Okay, so I'm choosing this one and choose apply. So now our web app is configured. All you have to do is click on review and create. This is going to do some basic validation. Everything is good. Let's go ahead and then create. Web app has been created. Let's go to home and see this is our web app. Let's click on it. Let's make sure that our web app is up and running. Click on the URL, it's up and running, and it is time to do the deployment, right? Okay. All right, so my pipeline. So this is where you know we have to create our pipeline. Okay. So so basically, how do you create the pipeline? Of course, you can click on this one, right? So let's click on create pipeline. And we are going to go with a classic editor because you know uh, we want to create a pipeline without ML file. 
okay so our source code is in bit by cut cloud right so we are going to go with this option we are doing for the very first time uh, you know then you would be having something like this okay all right so you can choose this option right so you are going to go ahead and then provide your bit by cut credential See here, once you provide your bit bucket credential, then you would be able to choose your repository. So this is my bit bucket repository, right? Sub DevOps. So I'm going to go ahead and then choose that option from here. I'm going to go ahead and then choose that option. See this one. Click on select. Everything is good. So I want to choose with the master branch. Click on continue. Okay. So now we have to create choose the template. Okay. So we have to choose the template. Azure DevOps have already created bunch of temp templates for us. All we have to do is, you know, uh, choose the appropriate template for us. Okay, so let me go ahead and then type Java here. See here, because we want to build the Java war file and then deploy it into Azure Web App, right? So I'm going to go ahead with this template option. Okay, so click on apply. Okay, so now we are in the process of creating the uh, pipeline, right? Okay, so I'm going to first rename my pipeline. I'm going to say my uh, Java pipeline. Okay, so I want to give some name. Okay, so that is my pipeline name. Okay, and you see here these are the tasks, right? Because the template has provided all these tasks for us, all these tasks pre-populated for us. Okay, we just have to go and configure it, right? So let me click on the first option, and this is where we have to provide the path of our palm .xml file. So let me make sure the path is correct. And this is my application which I wanted to migrate. So I'm going to go ahead and then choose this palm.xml file. Okay. So that's what I have chosen here. And what is the goal? Our Maven goal is clean install. Okay. So I'm going to rest of the information. I'm going to leave it like that. That's fine. And uh, so this particular option, uh, yes, we want to first, uh, you know, we want to create a war file and then copy it into the staging location, right? So I'm going to leave it like that. And this is filling the staging area. This one, you know, we are going to go with the default option as well. This is where we have to connect to our Azure web app, okay? So let's go ahead and then choose our subscription. So this is my subscription, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and then choose my web app name. So this is the web app name or app service name, which we just, uh, you know, configured here, okay? And then I'm going to do the same thing for this task also. And our app service type is Linux based. And then I'm going to go ahead and then choose this, right? And then do the same thing for this task also. Okay, you see here? So now our pipeline has been configured. If you want to enable webhooks option, all you have to do is go to triggers and then enable this option. So when you enable this option, as soon as developer have committed the code, the pipeline is going to get kickstarted. Okay, awesome. So we have done it. Let me go ahead and then save it. What I'm going to do uh, now, our pipeline has been configured. Okay. So you can go ahead and then kick start the build. Okay, let's click on Q. Go ahead and say run. This is going to take uh, some time because right now the job has been put it in the queue, and then you know it is going to look for an agent, right? And then the agent is going to do the job. Okay, wow, you see here. Yeah, the agent has been assigned already. Right now, agent is, you know, in the process of uh, doing the job. Okay. Great. The deployment has been done. Let's quickly go to Azure and then verify our changes. So this is our uh, Azure Web App URL, right? All I'm going to go, all I'm going to do is go ahead and then put in the Web App name. Wow. See here, guys. So we are able to see the output, right? So this is, so ignore this message, you know, this is just a sample message, right? So basically what the pipeline have done is, it was able to check out the code, it was able to, uh, you know, uh, build the war file and whatnot, it was able to deploy into here, right? 
Now, why don't we go ahead and then make a small change in our code, right? So, this is our web app, right? What I'm going to do, I'm going to open that web app, open that index.jsp, right? So, let's quickly make some code change and then see if we are able to trigger the bill, right? All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to say that we are migrating from Bitbucket to Azure Cloud using Azure Pipelines. Okay. So this is the message, right? Okay. So let me go ahead and then say commit. I'm going to say triggering bill in Azure DevOps pipeline or Azure pipeline. Okay. Let's commit this. Okay. Now I have committed the code in Bitbucket. So let me go to my pipeline. So this is my pipeline. Let me click on the pipeline name here. Wow. See here, we were able to see our change right away. See here triggering build in Azure pipeline. This was a message I had given, right? And you can also see that just now. So let me click on this. Okay. And let's click on here. See, it got queued automatically, right? I did not queue this. It got queued automatically. And right now it is waiting for the agent to do the job. Now the agent has been assigned. It is in the process of building the job. Uh, see here the deployment has been completed so let's go to web app let's try to refresh here wow uh, see here we are able to see the code change what we just made in bitbucket that's how you migrate application from bitbucket into azure cloud using azure pipeline thank you for watching guys